What's going on guys, Eddie right here, home sitting on the couch, uh, finally recuperated from Atlanta Food Wine Fest 2021. Thank you to the team of Visit Jackson for the opportunity to represent Jackson, Mississippi during that time along with two other chefs. We went out there and did an amazing job, we represented Jackson, Mississippi to the fullest and uh, we gave them some culinary greatness. Um, so again, thank you guys for the opportunity. The content that follows this will be the live demo that I did and everybody seems to enjoy it so I want to share it with you guys if you haven't already seen it on Facebook. And um, now that we're back in somewhat of a normal schedule, new content, new things going on, new recipes, more ways to do amazing barbecue the right way, brought to you by yours truly. Thank you guys for your ongoing support of the brand, and we look forward to serving you this holiday season in many capacities. My name is Eddie Wright, we'll see you coming soon. Amazing barbecue the right way. With that being said, we are going to get started. If you have a drink in your hand, please raise it up to the sky. I would like to inaugurate you as a fellow Mississippian. Thank you and salute. Drinks up. Thank you to Sean Artois for the beverages of the season. What we're going to do today is something that's very near and dear to my heart. Anybody can do it. You don't have to be famous. You don't have to be flamboyant. It's the ingredients that you can use that are at your home. What we're going to make is what some people may call a hungover person's nightmare or dream. This is going to be a smoked chicken and cinnamon roll waffle sandwich. See? And that reaction is what we specialize here at Right Barbecue. It smiles on the inside. We want you to smile right here. It's the inside smile that we specialize in. We want to make sure you get one. So, we're going to start with our ingredients. You can make them what you like, but what we like to start with is a little ball of sandwich chicken breast. Give me one second. All right. We got some bonus skin the stick press. You can fillet them if you want. You can break it down however you like. We've already filleted these down. For those of you at home who are watching with the magic of TV and live streaming, this is what we have. Now, some people may generally do this with a rub that's already pre-packaged, but we're going to give you a little secret rub that you can use at home that's pretty much universal that you can use at any point in time. With that being said, go and take your cabinet, grab you some garlic, some pepper, brown sugar, of course, okay, okay. paprika, and salt. Grab each one of these items, you're going to combine them into a mixing bowl. The portions are strictly up to you how you want to do it. As long as you add the love on top, that's the most important factor. Unless you're already intoxicated, then the love's already there. That's what I'm talking about. No more drinks for the ladies over there. They're excited. I'm excited. They're excited. <laughs> All right, our last element being our pepper. Once you get your rub together, we're gonna to take one of our awesome sponsors here, Mississippi Meat Mafia. Make sure you go on the line on our website, edrightbbq.com. Add a dash of that to it. For amazing color. That's the dash. Mississippi dash. But we're in the South, right? And we make some of the best food in the world, right? So for those of you who aren't from the South, that's considered a Southern dash. All right, we take that Southern Dash, we mix it all together, right? Now, you can do this a lot of different ways. You can do it on a grill. You can do it low and slow in the smoke. You can do it in the oven. You can do it in a cast iron skillet. Shout out to all my people who own a cast iron skillet. <laughs> One more for the people who have cast iron skillets. <laughs> you can do it in either one of those. As long as you include the love and the right ingredients, it's guaranteed to come out awesome. So, the rub's done. We're gonna go ahead and season amazingly however you would like across your chicken breast. Again, this is a southerner's dash, so it's gonna be kinda heavy. 
A lot of the ingredients that we like to use are low sodium. Of course, we want to keep that low in the, in the, uh, in the neighborhood of people trying to stay healthy. Do it on both sides, of course. Get some ball fans out there today. We're in Atlanta, so I will ask first, any Falcons fans out there today? Because I want to be welcome back to the great city of Atlanta. Shout out to the Falcon fans. Raise the cup once over one more time. Thank you very much. How about... Hey, secretly I am with this gentleman here. How about those Falcons? So, season... Season gentlemen, make sure you rub both sides of the chicken. Make sure it's hot and ready to go. On the smoker, you want to go 225, 235 and let it ride. On the grill, you want to go 350 and above. You want to sear it over hot heat. And then I feel like I'm about to cry. I'm side. so happy. You want to let it <laughs> this is so dope. Yeah. This is dope, man. I'm so proud of you. You do not be afraid of it. You know he likes to be on a stage. I swear. This is for him. This is for him. I'm so, I'm so use happy. A thermometer to make sure yeah, that you're dope. not going to kill anybody. There will be no poisoning when we make smoked chicken and cinnamon roll off the sandwich. So, we're going to take that, we're going to get it back in our bowl, we're going to get it to the grill, and we're going to cook it live right here for you. We're going to go down here. All right, I'm down here. Now, this is propane operated. I'm so glad we all are Okay, it's nothing wrong with it, but it's just not the best you want to use it. So, this propane operated, it's running right now about 325 degrees. Smoking hot. <laughs> what we're going to do, we're going to get a good sear, and you can see it live. We're going to get a good sear on the hot side, and then we're going to move it over to the indirect side and let it finish off. Now, I will say this, there's one advantage to propane grills. When you need it hot, it's ready to go. So, if you don't like blowing slow, you can most definitely do it here, cast iron, or any other type of hot heat that you like to use. Do not be afraid to try this at home in your kitchen. I'm just a pit master, this is just my thing I like to use most of the time. Now, with high heat, you do not have a lot of time to play around. So, don't flee me wrong. You want to make sure you get a good clip. I heat the other side. You better hurry up. We're going to turn that down. I don't have any calls. We're going to make this work. Place it there, 
follow the ship. And that's the match. We're going to make quite a few of these and we're going to have a conversation in the meantime. But each one of these is going to be a top and bottom bun for the sandwich that we're doing. So, we're going to get this going and we're also going to make a very lovely sauce out of the frosting. We're going to take this frosting. Small mixing bowl. We're going to spoon it out of the mixing bowl. And you can do it as a regular bowl at the house. Doesn't matter. I'm gonna add a little bit of rum. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. You're gonna mix thoroughly. This combined together is going to pop our cinnamon roll waffle with a little bit of sugar and a little bit of seasoning to give you an amazing flavor on the backside. So that you see at home, that's how that looks. You've got a nice color to that that you can use once your chicken and waffles are done. So, we're going to keep that going. While we're still here talking, how many people are from the great city of Atlanta? How many people are from Georgia? How many of you know somebody from Mississippi? So we're like cousins, all right? I love you all. Thank you. So while that's cooking, we've got our waffles going. We're checking up the time of time. We're going to go back down here and check our chicken. On a scale of 1 to 10, how good is everybody feeling today? I'm sorry, one more time. On a scale of 1 to 10, how is everybody feeling today? I've thrown six hours with my team. We are very happy to be here. We're happy to be here. To come and give you guys the Mississippi place. There's three things we do great in Mississippi. And it's not politics, so please don't think about it. It's food. It's love. So if you ever come to Mississippi, just know we're gonna have a good football game. We're gonna love them real good. Let's make you feel like it's home. We're gonna make sure you leave fat and happy. All right. As you can see, no magic television here. The chicken's done. We're going to go up here so you guys can see. So my camera pan down so you can see it. That is our amazing grilled chicken. It's not smoked, but it is good to go. We're going to take our waffle. Got one done already. Now you got a waffle right there. So those who can't see at home, that's what you get when you put a cinnamon roll with a waffle for it. If you love carbs and you love calories, can I get a round of applause? For you? I'd love to hear that. We're we'll gonna put one more in here. Small waffle press, you can have a large one, a small one, it really doesn't matter. One more time, if you love carbs and you love calories, let me hear it. Drinks up one last time. As you can tell, I love to entertain and I love it when you drink as I drink. It's no fun when I'm drinking alone, so don't make me feel like an alcoholic. Thank you guys very much. Stella Artois, once again, thank you so much. All right, with the magic of television, we do have one cinnamon roll waffle already made. All right, so what we're gonna do, we're gonna clear some space here so you guys can see, hopefully the camera is panning down on it. This is a real easy combination to do. Any, literally, three o'clock in the morning, you come home, you're hungry, you need something to save your life. And you know what I mean by save your life when I say these words. You don't want to wake up the next morning with that marinating on your belly. You don't want it. You take a chicken, you take some, you got chicken in the freezer or the refrigerator, and everybody keeps cinnamon rolls. We all do. This is one of those things you can simply do. And this is how you marry it all together. Cinnamon roll. You're gonna take that frosting in that rub. You're gonna put a generous amount. That's generous. You're gonna take that chicken, place it over the top. You're gonna take another cinnamon roll, more frosted and rub. You're gonna put that gingerly on top. You're gonna put that on top, you're gonna grab your knife, and you're gonna slice down the gun. Ladies and gentlemen, that is a smoked chicken and cinnamon roll waffle sandwich. You can eat this at home or anywhere else that you may be. It's a very easy recipe to do. It is available on the Atlanta Food and Wine Festival website. 
My name is Eddie Wright. Thank you guys for having me today. Thank you for this amazing experience. Thank you for this amazing experience. And I hope to see you guys again sometime soon. Thank you very much.